In this demo, the setup consists of a variable speed blower which pushes air through a pipe that serves as a wind tunnel. The inlet tube to the reservoir is positioned at the end of the wind tunnel to catch air just as it would on your motorcycle. For visualization purposes, we're showing the discharge tube open-ended so you can see the actual drips that would flow down the discharge tube and into the chain applicator to lubricate your chain. In the demo, we will do three runs at varying speeds and measure the time it takes for three oil drops. This first run is at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. In the interest of time, portions of the video will be accelerated between the oil drops. To keep track of time, just keep your eye on the clock. As the wind hits the inlet tube, a pressure is created inside the reservoir that pushes the oil through a flow restrictor and into the discharge tube. As you can see, even though the oil is flowing, the discharge tube does not fill with oil. This will be an important point as you will see later when the bike stops. So in the first run, there was about one drop every 63 seconds. The second run is at 65 miles per hour, or 105 kilometers per hour. Even though the pressure is increased due to the higher speed, you will notice that the discharge tube still does not fill with oil. So in the second run, at 65 miles per hour, there was about one drop every 24 seconds. This last run is at 80 miles per hour, or 129 kilometers per hour. Even though the pressure has increased even further and the oil is flowing faster, you'll notice that the discharge tube has still not filled with oil. So in the last run, at 80 miles per hour, there was about one drop every 15 seconds. When the bike stops, the oil that is already in the discharge tube will continue to flow down the walls of the discharge tube and into the chain applicator, but no additional oil will flow into the discharge tube and the oil flow will stop automatically. The last few residual drips that run down the walls of the discharge tube and into the chain applicator will be stored there and ready for your next ride. 